When we see the first signs of spring, we tend to think that we're right at the start of life shooting forth. But actually what we see is not the beginning, but the shooting up of life that began a while ago. Hidden away, quietly underground, the seeds or bulbs that were sown in the season before have been working away, germinating, after a period of dormancy. And now, the life we see starts to make itself known. How true this is of our lives, and particularly, I think, of our creative projects. Before I share more of what I've been working on, let me take you on a little sketch walk around my area. I don't know if you can see that there's a little robin up there. Maybe you can hear him, but he's been singing away as I've been drawing. This is what I've been drawing. I always think it looks a bit like alien life coming out of some kind of pod. This is early shoots of Gunnera. That's what I've been doing so far. All of the last season's Gunnera, the plants that, that have died, all with their long leaves on the ground and all the leaves and now you can see these new shoots coming through. I just think it's a wonderful picture of life and um, nature and how regeneration happens. It really makes me feel hopeful when I see this in nature. You see new shoots and a load of different leaves and life happening. Got some heart tone, um, umbrella fuzz or nettle, and some daffodils. So I'm going to continue with this and uh, see how I get on. And Robin is still up there, he's still singing away. This is where I'm going to leave it because it is actually raining. feels so good on my face. I feel like I've been in some kind of little hole <laughs> and uh, I'm finally out of it, back outside in the sun and it's hardly windy.
Here's my little drawing of the view with the sun and the light. I think it's quite bright, but uh, it's casting some really nice uh, shadows and colours. It's all very kind of green, greeny, bluey, grey. Evening time, yeah, early evening. It's about five, just past five. It's been really nice just to draw this view and have a little bit of time to decompress. Just be outside and have that sunshine, not have it rain. So I just used new colours and my water brush and then some pencil just on the top quick quite quick if you're a subscriber to this channel you may have seen my husband comically introducing you to my wildflower course 10 days ago which he did so well if you missed it and want to giggle definitely go and take a look but if this is the first time you're watching me, then let me introduce myself. I'm an illustrator and artist with a sketchbook habit, born out of wanting to capture the area in which I live. My favorite art activity is to walk in nature and draw and observe what I see. Where the wildflowers grow, the title of my new course is based on exploring and drawing the wildflowers I see on the Lizard Peninsula, a place that I located to around six years ago that I've been sketching and exploring regularly. So in the course I share about my inspiration and preparation and handy things that I use to take out with me. I then take you on three sketch walks in three different habitats, describing all the flowers I see and share my sketches as I go. Then back in the studio I introduce you to a simple colour palette that I find works well for capturing wildflowers and I create a colour wheel and show you how I grow my colour palette and combine with mixed media. We then have a final project to challenge us to take our sketches further and I share in detail all my process and the final pieces. This is my second course I've worked on and I know some of you who are regular viewers have signed up already and it's been so encouraging to hear your feedback so far. Everyone who joins also has access to my wildflower photo reference book, which features 130 wildflowers. So even if you don't live near wild areas or are restricted in getting out, you can still join in and be inspired to draw them. The course is now live and you can start the sessions as soon as you enroll. I did extend the early bird offer until the 11th of March. So if you're watching this before then, you still have time to take up that offer. All the details will be in the description box below and then you can find out more by clicking that link and reading the course info. in autumn myself and a fellow artist Pippa collaborated on running a two-day course together combining sketching and painting on paper and clay. Hello peacocks. I thought you'd like to see an overview of what we got up to. Little splodges, that'll give me some interesting textures. I don't want to throw it over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the one. They are like using crayons, so.
so you're just going to wedge it up by kind of turning it towards you. Rolling and your rolling pin is on the slats. So don't I'm gonna put them on the backs so that way it's on the rock to create the different faces. I quite like the brush as well. And here are the fired pieces. Provided we get enough people enrolled on the spring course, Pippa and I are really looking forward to running the course again. And then later in the month, I'll be running my first retreat here on the Lizard Peninsula, based at Penmena House. We'll be spending a few days drawing, walking, exploring, creating sketchbooks, working with mixed media and soaking up the lizard landscape. So there's lots to look forward to and be thankful for. Thanks so much for watching. To let me know you've reached this spot in the video, why not write wildflowers in the comments below? And I'll speak to you again really soon.